بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس یور ٹیچر محمد عامر اکرم اینڈ ٹو ڈیز لیکچر از اباؤٹ بائنری سبٹریکٹر ایز وی نو دیٹ دا پروسیس آف سبٹریکٹنگ بائنری انسائنڈ نمبرس کین بی ڈن کنوینئنٹلی بائی ٹیکنگ بائی مینس آف دا کمپلیمنٹ ایز وی ہیو آلریڈی اسٹڈی ان چیپٹر ون Uh, we know that the process of subtraction, for example, if we say that A minus B, E can be done by taking two's complement of B and adding it to the A. The two's complement can be uh, easily obtained by uh, taking the one's complement of B and uh, adding one to the least significant pair of the bits. The one's complement can be uh, we know we can implement one complement by using inverters and the one can be added to the sum through the input carry the circuit for a minus b uh, consists of an adder with inverters placed between each data input b and the corresponding input of the full adder uh, and we can say that the input carry c not must be equal to 1 when the process of subtraction is performed. The operation thus performed becomes A plus the 1's complement of B plus 1. Uh, we, as we can say that uh, this process uh, will be uh, equal to as A plus one's complement of B one's complement of B plus one. That first of all, we will take one's complement of B in the number which we have to subtract from A. And then we will add one uh, to that uh, one's complement and that will become the two's complement of that digital number and then we will add that number to the a <coughs> digital number and uh, by using this process operation thus performed becomes a plus the one's complement of b plus one this is equal to a plus two's complement of b for we can say that uh, for unsigned binary numbers that uh, gives the value of uh, a minus b will be given us only if and only if if a is greater than or equal to b uh, or uh, the two's complement of uh, b minus a if a is less than b for signed numbers in the case of signed numbers uh, if we have to perform the uh, operation of a minus b then a should be greater than or equal to b and for uh, we can say that the signed uh, numbers case the always we have to take the two's complement of the b minus a if a is less than b for if A is less than B, then we have to take the two's complement of, we say that B minus A uh, for signed numbers. The result A minus B provided that there is also uh, a condition of overflow that we will discuss in this uh, in the topic. 
and uh, we can say that addition and subtraction operations can be combined into one circuit with one common binary adder by including an exclusive or gate with each full adder as we say that uh, uh, when we have studied the you know, four bit binary adder uh, uh, we we use four full adders uh, for that uh, addition process uh, in our last of last topic uh, so for to perform in this process of binary addition and subtraction we can have to add or we have to include an exclusive or gate with each full adder subtraction can be realized using an adder by controlling inputs to a parallel adder that we have to control the inputs uh, to the parallel adders and uh, in this uh, uh, diagram this is a four bit adder subtractor circuit which we have to uh, discuss in this lecture and uh, in this uh, adder server subtractor circuit uh, we are using uh, by uh, we have to perform the operations by uh, changing different outputs and uh, inputs and uh, making the input and uh, uh, we say that the input carry uh, bits the tools complement of the b binary digits and then uh, adding uh, them now addition of tools complement of a to b digit results in addition operation in order to achieve this a control input we say that this m is a control input is used to perform these two operations at time and uh, we have to uh, we use this control bit m uh, when m is equal to 1 this circuit will become and a uh, subtractor and when m the control bit is equal to 0 it will perform the operation of addition and uh, by using uh, this circuit we can as we can easily perform the process of addition and subtraction we used uh, m as a control input and uh, as we are using the circuit for to perform two operations and for the uh, for taking two's complement uh, one's complement and these exclusive or gates are used to um, take uh, the complement of the b uh, binary digit and uh, we perform these uh, operation uh, we, we know that when uh, we use the circuit as a subtractor m will be equal to 1 and when when m is 1 1 input is 1 then uh, the b input will be transferred to the output of the exclusive or gate uh, as a inverse inversion of the given input signal as we can say that uh, when we have these uh, this the value of the this b not is also 1 and m is also 1 then for exclusive or gate when both inputs are same the output will be 0 and so this will be uh, there is a 0 at the output of this exclusive or gate which will be the a, a complement of 1 and if it's a 1 uh, if it is a 0 then both the inputs are different and output will be equal to 1 which is complemented form of 0 and so on similarly these b1 b2 and b3 operation will be performed by uh, to take the uh, one's complement of the b digits by using these exclusive or gates and uh, this process of uh, uh, taking one's complement we have to add one to the addition of the uh, this subtract and to add that one we use this uh, input carry c not which will be equal to one as our controlling input m is also equal to one for the process of 
binary subtract to and uh, this exclusive or uh, we see that uh, b exclusive 1 will be equal to b complement and b exclusive 0 will be equal to 1 yeah, and, and the b inputs are all complemented and if one is added to the input carry as i have already explained by using this input carry one will be added the circuit performs the operation a plus two is complement of b and the exclusive or gate we are seeing this at the output stage <coughs> will be uh, output v is for detecting an <coughs> overflow condition um, it is worth noting that binary number <coughs> in signed complement system are added and subtracted by the same basic addition and subtraction rules as are unsigned numbers. Therefore, computers, uh, digital computers, we can say, needs only one common hardware circuit to handle both types of the arithmetic. The user or programmer must interpret the results of such addition or subtraction differently depending on whether it is assumed that the numbers are signed or unsigned. So the, we can <coughs> use one circuit to implement both uh, the operations of signed and unsigned number, but we have to, the, we can say that the user or programmer must know and uh, interpret the results according to uh, such addition and subtraction operations. And then now we will talk about the overflow condition which will occur uh, when we uh, perform the process of addition as we know that when both numbers with n digits each are added and the sum is uh, a number occupying if we say that uh, n bit numbers are added both a, a and b are n bit number then the result of the their sum we will be occupying n plus one digits and uh, we say uh, that an overflow condition will be occurred as the registered use are of n bits and n plus one bits are required to store their result and so at this stage an overflow condition will be occurred and uh, we can say that this is true for binary or decimal number uh, signed or unsigned in for both cases when the addition is performed you know with the paper and pencil uh, an overflow is not a problem as there is no issue of the paper width. We can increase the number of bits as much as we uh, wanted. But in the case of when digital circuits, overflow is a problem because of number of bits that hold the number is finite and the result that contains n plus one bits cannot be accommodated by an n bit word. For this reason, many computers detect occurrence of an overflow condition. And when it occurs, corresponding flip-flop is set that can then be checked by the user that uh, what's wrong with the process of addition and uh, that also will be <coughs> detected and uh, so the, <coughs> the register may be replaced or um, any solution which is suggested will be <coughs> done. The detection of an overflow after the addition of two binary numbers depends on whether the numbers are considered to be signed or unsigned uh, when two unsigned numbers are added and overflow is detected from the end carry out of the most significant position and carry and out of the most significant position in case of signed numbers two details are important when both numbers are signed the left bit always represents the sign and negative numbers are in two complement form when two signed numbers are added the sign bit is treated as part of the number and end carry does not indicate an overflow condition as an overflow cannot occur after an addition of one number is positive and the other is negative uh, this overflow condition only occurs when both the numbers are uh, either positive or both are either in the negative form uh, since adding and uh, so an overflow condition uh, to see how this can happen consider uh, we have to consider uh, for example we can consider an example of adding two numbers uh, two signed binary numbers uh, we can say that plus things 
uh, an overflow condition can be detected by observing that the carry into the sign bit position and the carry out of the sign bit position. That uh, when both uh, are the cases which we have to consider, uh, and we will say um, go back to this uh, four bit address of vector circuit. And uh, here we have to uh, see and mention that uh, that overflow of when we are observing the process or arithmetic process that when the carry into the sign bit uh, position and carry out of the sign bit position that uh, this carry input into the sign uh, position and out of this carry both these carries have to be considered to consider the overflow condition and this is indicated in uh, that in which uh, two carries are uh, considered which are c3 and c4 and these two carries are uh, uh, exclusive, uh, taken into the as an input of the exclusive or gate and that output is v which will indicate the overflow condition and we can say that when v is equal to 1 it will indicate that an overflow condition is occurred and when the value of v is equal to 0 then uh, output will be uh, there will be no overflow condition and this overflow condition only will be occurred when both the carries are equal to 1 and uh, output gate uh, that is this auxiliary or gate output is equal to 1. For this method to work correctly, the two's complement of our negative number must be computed by taking one's complement and adding 1. This takes care of the condition when the maximum negative number is complemented. And we can say that binary address of vector circuit with the output C and V as uh, shown in this uh, figure. Uh, if the two binary numbers are considered to be unsigned, then the C bit detects a carry after addition or a borrow after addition the subtraction. If the numbers are considered to be signed, then the V bit detects an overflow. <coughs> if this <coughs> value of V is equal to zero after an addition or subtraction, then no overflow occurred and the N bit result is correct. And if the value of this uh, output V is equal to 1, then the result of the operation contains n plus 1 bits, but only the rightmost n bits of the number fit in the space available. So an overflow has occurred, and the n plus 1 bit is, is the actual sign and has been shifted out of the position, we can say. And uh, so we uh, have understand that uh, the purpose of this exclusive or gate this is used to uh, detect the overflow condition for the system. So this was uh, our lecture about that uh, binary uh, subtractor additions and adder and subtractor circuit based on and uh, what is the overflow condition and when it occurs. Uh, it only occurs when both the uh, <coughs> binary numbers of same sign are added. Now, for example, when both are positive or when both are negative, an overflow condition is occurred and this output v mentions the overflow in, has occurred or not so inshallah in, uh, in our next lecture we will study about the uh, decimal uh, adders and uh, uh, how it they works and uh, what operations and uh, how we, we can implement them by using uh, block diagrams and uh, digital circuits okay students take care allah Thank you.